Hello everyone, so this is a quite simple and quick video just to show the magic of follow paths and uh, having an enemy or an NPC roaming or scene with a drone path. Uh, this is not uh, anything algorithmic or anything, it's something that Godot uh, has implemented on nodes and most people don't use it uh, since maybe because we have to draw the path in every instance every time we use it so this is how it works we have a path node over here uh, this works on 3d and on 2d path and path 2d and we have a path follow and a path follow that's for the 2d it's blue so it's 2d so anyway mm, how this works is we just have to add a path, a path node, and we can draw our path over here with the scenes. We can just change our perspective to top, and we can draw any path we want on our map uh, or our, our tile map or anything. And this will be the path that our NPC will follow. And here we have a button to close this, this path anyway. Um, as a son of this, as a children of this, we have to add a path follow. And as a children, children of this, we have to add an, an instance, a body, a mesh, or, or any like that. A kinematic, kinematic body, uh, for example. So over here we have our origin of our path. And I'm gonna move this guy. This guy has to be in the origin. Of our path follow and also it has to be the children of our path follow like this because how this works is this path follow just changes the offset uh, like like this you can see so this guy just changes the offset and since the offset of the origin is being changed also it's being changed the position of our anything that is children of this, of the path follow. So we have to make it move in a script. The script is quite simple, it's just two lines. It's like this. So we it extends a path follow, it has a run speed, and on the process, we since this extends path follow, we have the method set offset, and in here, we set the new offset to the current offset, so get offset, we um, plus run speed and multiply it by, by delta. Since run speed uh, here is 5, uh, this works different on 2D and 3D, the variable, but on 2D it's the same. Over here I have a path 2D, a path follow and an icon. Many people don't use it because you have to draw the path manually on every new path, on every scene and every instance, and make mm, so we can so you can implement it. And it's 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 better to just uh, program it um, like choose a random point and move there and. Um, like that but this is another way and a very simple way to implement roaming on 3d and on 2d as well so in case anyone forgets about it or maybe you didn't know this this was implemented so that's how it works and this script I have it uh, implemented on the path follow so don't forget that so that's all that's all for this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.